Good evening folks, uh, just a bit of a different video for you this evening and uh, it might not be to everybody's taste but um, yeah I thought I'd do it anyway. Um, if you were to ask anybody that knows me one thing about me or the, you know, the, uh, to describe me in maybe a couple of words uh, it would probably be Vulcan Geek from uh, from most people uh, or maybe some other choice words uh, but anyway <laughs> yeah I'm a massive Vulcan fan uh, and that's the Avro Vulcan not anything to do with Star Trek uh, and the Avro Vulcan was uh, a long range sort of strategic nuclear bomber um, you know and was used in the height of the Cold War never used in anger uh, to deploy a, a nuclear uh, payload uh, the only time it was used was uh, in the very early eighties in the Falklands conflict uh, when Squad Leader Martin Withers uh, dropped uh, twenty-one thousand pound bombs uh, down in Port Stanley. Not very successfully. Uh, I think only one glanced the the runway, but it was more uh, a propaganda exercise uh, just to show the the Argies, uh you know, what we were capable of at the time. Anyway. If you want to research it a bit more, feel free to do so. Uh, search for Black Buck Missions uh, on uh, Google or, or whatever search engine you prefer. Is there any other search engines other than Google anymore? I'm not sure. Anyway, um, what I'm going to show you tonight is uh, these, uh, which are um, photo stats, which are it's uh, the, the old school uh, photocopies of, of the day and what these are the um, flight record sheets from the AV Row uh, company in Woodford um, as you can see here it's the aircraft research division and uh, I have three of these um, and they're all from uh, tail number X-ray Lima 317 which you can see there was a Vulcan uh, B the Mark II <clears throat> And up all these do, I mean, some people may be familiar with a flight record sheet. I know a lot of people won't be. Uh, but what this essentially is, is is a record of the flight. Um, you know, crew on board, uh, fuel uh, holdings, takeoff weights, etc. And an actual log of, of the uh, events of the flight. And these three in particular are, are fairly interesting. Um, there's been a, a couple of issues and on these three sorties and uh, yeah I just thought I'd go through them and uh, see if there's anything to note so uh, this one uh, was uh, first pilot was OJ Hawkins so presumably uh, again I could google this but I'm presuming he was an employee of uh, AV Row <coughs> or Avro as uh, more commonly known uh, and the second pilot was a flight lieutenant J Tulk uh, couple of observers um, and air electronic officers on board and we can see this was a uh, takeoff time of 10.59 on the 19th of September 1961. Um, so things to note on this one. Um, saying that the engine was started internally. Number two, slow to open up. Um, so that's just, you know, slow to, to build up the, the revs and the engines and, and get up to temperature and, uh, you know, the sort of performance re required for takeoff. Um no nose wheel steering on this one um, and loss of fin fold indication no flag wagging on airspeed and um, airspeed indicator uh, take off undercarriage would not retract to complete the circuit for landing and then he landed taxied and shut down um, little interesting pieces on here if you see uh, alterations since last flight uh, they put a 0 0.060 inch nominal gap in the blue steel hoist. Um, or the, the, sorry, there was a, a gap had appeared uh, and opened up to 0 0.075 inches. Um, and they just say they screwed a wedge to sort of regain the, the correct gap. Uh, blue steel was uh, the United Kingdom's uh, nuclear uh, payload uh, it was a an air launched uh, standoff uh, missile so you know the the Vulcan would gun at high high altitude uh, drop it out the bottom where a, a rocket motor would uh, would uh, ignite and then it would be flown into the, the target um, from you know quite a, a range away from from uh, you know you know the the, the launch uh, 
point would be quite a bit away from its intended target, given the, the Vulcan and its crew hopefully uh, an opportunity to to uh, get out the way of the uh, the blast. Um, yeah, okay, dokes, so that's that one. Um, just come on to the, the next one again. This was, uh, I don't think these are in order actually. This one's uh, the 18th of September. Uh, 61 again x ray lima 317 um this time scorn leader radford is the uh uh second pilot oj hawkins again flying as a captain uh, and n taylor was the observer again so this is quite a short flight as you can see it was uh 1708 takeoff time and they landed at 1738 so uh we can see in the main body the text um this is quite an interesting one. Engine started off the auxiliary uh, power unit. Um, taxi in, uh, take off um, at 17.08. Uh, the tower reported that an object had fallen from the aircraft on takeoff. So the aircraft circuited the airfield, circuited the airfield uh, and performed a, a roller landing. Uh, so they were in the air for 19 minutes. And uh, utilised nearly five thousand pounds of fuel. Um, and after, uh, as it says as a, a note here, after flight, this was found to be the cover from uh, panel nineteen in the nose fuel bay. So it basically just fallen off. The tower had actually saw it happening uh, and told the aircraft to land because obviously it could have been something uh, more serious. Um, snags, which is a popular military term for uh, an issue so uh, after this flight we can see that there was a three foot long convex wrinkle on the top skin over the number three engines air intake um, buckles in the flange of the large lightning hole in the bottom half of number two engine intake um, and some signs of working in the landing lamp bay uh, appears both wings on both wings so I don't know what they're meaning by working, that maybe something coming loose, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it on that one. And then the last one I've got to show you is this one. Again, this is the 19th of September. Uh, again, OJ Hawkins is a captain and my namesake, uh, Scone de Cochrane, was the, the uh, number two pilot. Again, N. Taylor was the observer. Um, this was a 30 minute flight uh, and they took off at 14.31. Um, engine started at 14.26. Uh, pilot reported bulb US and number 4 pitch dampener channel. Um, blah 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 blah. Take off 14.31. And then at 14.30 the aircraft reported juddering uh, a straight pull out to 3.1G in the cabin. Um, blah blah blah. And as you can see here, the folded the fin. Now, when they're talking about folding the fin, they're talking about folding the fin on the blue steel. So they were probably carrying uh, not a live weapons uh, weapon system, but probably just a, a you know a mock up or, or something without the warhead in it. Um, so they folded the fin up in the missile to see if the journal reduced, and it said, as it says there, no improvement. So they put it back down. Um, yeah, various other things. Um, it says again here um, that the well, not again, but it says here that the missile fin folded up without selection. So basically, the the missile's the fins folded up. Nobody's actually selected, you know, the the switch to do that, and they've got the indication to see that it's up. Um, nothing much really to. Um, To, to, to else to mention on this other than um, what's this uh, taxing elevon range check stick back forward port starboard for record on CID gash recorder <laughs> so I don't know what the gash recorder is uh, anyway do, 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 do. yeah fuse renewed after found to be ruptured this caused the under uh, undercarriage nose wheel steering and fin fold faults on flight 9 Um yeah, so I just thought that might be quite interesting uh, for you to see. Uh, not many people will get to see these types of things. Uh, and how many years is this old now? You know, you're talking, 
you know, over 50 years old now. Um, or 55 years old now, uh, near enough. So it's yeah, it's a pretty, pretty, I don't want to say unique thing to see, but um, I thought it was quite interesting, uh, especially as a, a Vulcan geek, <laughs> as I describe myself. Um, so there you go, guys. Something different for tonight. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, um, give me a thumbs up and uh, I'll hopefully see you for another video soon. Uh, just before I, I finally go, uh, I should say uh, I sh I'm going to try and get these scanned in and we'll uh, provide them to uh, you know the various Facebook forums and uh, pages and uh, other Vulcan forums. So if you want to see a high resolution copy or um, you know, want to read a bit more into them, uh, feel free to do so once I've done that. Anyway guys, I'll let you go. Thanks again. Bye-bye.